Okay, let's do an example of connected component labeling using MATLAB. Uh, here's an image, um, essentially a binary image of uh, these white uh, washers on a black background. Um, we'll do some thresholding and uh, connected component labeling using MATLAB's BWLabel function. Then we'll assign false colors to the labels so that we can see them more easily. If we want to find the, uh, the black blobs, let's say these inner circles, we have to complement or flip the image and that, so that they're white and then repeat those steps. So let's get that image red. We'll threshold it uh, to create a binary image. Uh, it's really a binary image already, but um, I'll just do this anyway. Um, then we'll call MATLAB's uh, BW label function. And that will return a label image and the number of labels in this case is 17. So there are 17 white regions that it found. Um, if we look at the label image, you can see it's a grayscale image where the, the color here corresponds to the label that was assigned to each region. It's easier to see if we assign false color to that um, to those label values using label to RGB. And so you can see these a bit easier. In this ticker image, um, white is the background that's that's just no label, zeros, um, and the colors are all uh, unique labels. These two disks were actually assigned the same label because they're actually connected at this point here. And we'll see in a bit how to separate those. There's also a very tiny region, a little dot inside here, which is also assigned its own label. Okay, so let's say if we want to find the, the little black disks inside, we would um, complement the image either using this method or um, using im complement. So um, if I show that, you can see now the image has white in the centers and black on the outside. So I can do the same steps. I can uh, do BW label. In this case, I had 19 white regions. Um, I can assign false colors to that and then show um, the false color image here. So now you can see that the inner circles are assigned their own unique uh, region numbers. Okay, um, so to clean up the image, uh, to get rid of little uh, noise regions or to eliminate gaps, we can do some um, morphological operators, namely dilation and erosion and opening and closing. And these are performed with a structuring element, uh, which is really just a small binary image like a filter mask. Let's first look at dilation. So um, here's our structuring element. In this case, I chose a three by three box. Here's a sim simple binary image. Here's ones with zeros elsewhere. So dilation is defined as the union of the structuring element shifted to points um, that are that are where there are ones inside B here. So basically, you shift the structuring element to the places where there are ones, and where there are ones, you uh, or it with the resulting image. So uh, if I do that for this example, um, if I take this first one right there and center um, my structuring element there, and then I put ones wherever that structuring element lies. Okay. Um, do it again here. Okay, so the structuring element lies there and I or it with this part. Repeat for the other two and I'll get um, ones 
here and here. So basically, I've expanded the region uh, with dilation. Okay. Um, an example image uh, of text here shows that if we dilate it using a little structuring element like this, we make the letters thicker and we fill in these little gaps here. Uh, so the opposite of dilation is erosion. Uh, erosion is defined as this. It's basically um, all the points where the structuring element fits completely inside the binary image. So we slide the structuring element over the image. Wherever it's completely inside, we output a 1. So the first place where it's completely inside will be where the structuring element is here and therefore I output a 1 there. Um, it's also completely inside of the next position and the next position. We move down a row, it's completely inside here and here. And that's it. So you can see that um, in this case we shrink the regions. Um, so we started with a, a very large region and we wind up with a smaller region. Um, just to show how this works in MATLAB, um, MATLAB we can create a structuring element um, using this uh, function strel, or structuring element I guess. So we'll create a disk of radius 5 using this. Um, so it's really just a binary image which is, uh, in this case I guess, 11 by 11. Um, if you want a rounder shape, because this doesn't look very round to me, you can use this option 0 here, and this more approximates the shape of a disk. So to um, apply a dilation, we use IM dilate, and I still have the binary region, the binary image here, which is that guy. Um, so I'll call IM dilate on that. Um, Uh, using that structuring element uh, S that I just showed you. Uh, and let's make this a new figure. So here I've dilated, so this is the original image, this is the dilated one. All the white regions have gotten bigger and the black regions uh, smaller. So this little noise region here, this little black gap is now uh, eliminated. Um, I could also do erosion. So now the um, white regions have gotten smaller and the black regions bigger. Okay, we can put those two together to do what's called opening and closing. Opening is erosion followed by dilation with the same structuring element. So this eliminates small regions and projections. Closing is dilation followed by erosion with the same structuring element. So that fills in small holes and gaps. And MATLAB function are called I am open and I am close. So let's do an example. Let's say I have this um, image bag.png and I'm interested in finding or segmenting out these dark regions here. Um, and so I'll do thresholding and then I'll uh, do these morphological operators to clean that up. So we'll threshold the image. Let me read it in first. So there's the image. Um, we'll threshold it automatically using uh, gray thresh. So that looks like this. So you can see that we have black where we really want white, right? So um, 
I want to complement the binary image to make the target regions white. So that gives me um, that gives me this now where the target regions are white. But I have gaps here, so I have these little holes that I want to get rid of and a few noise um, white regions over here. So let's do uh, opening and closing. So the first thing we'll do is uh, opening to um, to uh, uh, sorry, uh, fill or get a, get rid of very small regions. Okay, so I'll say it's going. To, we're going to use a structuring element, um, and I've already tried this. I know a structuring element of um, radius one works pretty well here. Um, so. Here is the result of that, and um, as you can see, these little these little white noise regions in the background now are gone. Um, but I still have those gaps, so I want to close that using a closing. So I'll apply that to the result that I got before, and I've tried this before as well. I know that a disk of radius two works pretty well there. So. Um, here is the result. Uh, oops, I'm sorry, I should have picked close there. <laughs> Not open. So, as you can see now, I have uh, completely filled in these, these target regions here. And finally, I'll go ahead and uh, label that. Um, and then uh, I could stop there or I could apply false coloring to see those labels more clearly. So as you can see I've got unique labels for all of those points.